vaccines all across the board. And, and in this uh, article, he's saying that they were irresponsible by even talking about this. And I don't know about you, but if there was something that was in my food that had the potential of raising my incidence of having a child with autism, I think you should talk to me about I, it. I, I think I'm, it's a discussion I think I'm intelligent I, enough to make the decision I for myself do, and, and not jump off a bridge. Yeah, I definitely um, think this is something that needs to be discussed and we can't sweep it under the carpet because it doesn't fit into the mindset of a, of a certain researcher and or Or it becomes official. inconvenient because if I want to stop eating the cereal um, that's being put out by you know a company that is so huge and I want to stop eating it because they put an ingredient in it, mm -hmm. um, that puts a crimp in people's day. Yeah, sure does. But ask me how I really feel. Okay. <laughs> I already know. I know. Okay. I already know how you feel, Ms. Penrod. Yes. Um. Anyway, we've got a great guest uh, who can help me to put my blood pressure lower. Okay. Vince Redman is a fabulous licensed and marriage and family therapist. He is such a talented individual. He began in the field of autism as a therapist mm -hmm. and worked for multiple decades helping individuals on the spectrum. And I particularly want to call attention to the fact that Vince is one of the people that when they've got teenagers that are on the autism spec spectrum, that that's a particular um, area that he's very good with. Mm -hmm. um, but not to take anything away from him working with the younger kiddos, but then he became a licensed marriage and family therapist. There's nobody that I can think of that has a better understanding of what a family goes through emotionally, mentally, and physically, uh, not to mention financially, uh, when they're dealing with early intervention and with autism. So he's gonna be joining us in just a minute and talking with us about friendship, about what friendship looks like, how you get it, how you keep it, when it isn't what you thought it was and how you deal with that. We need to understand that as parents so that we can give that information to our kiddos mm -hmm. um, and help them to be able, because having good friends, honestly, I look at you and you're a good friend, having good friends is one of the keys to happiness in life. Of course it is. Uh, I've, I've learned this last year that it might be the key. It right? might be the key, the support of friends, can basically keep you going when you don't feel like keeping on. And we know that it's something that prevents bullying. So if we know that it's that great, mm -hmm. we want to do everything that we can to yeah. help our kiddos to have strong friends. And in I have lives. some specific questions for Vince because Wyatt tends to form these attachments, and then if those kids move away oh, or yes. move on, it's a traumatic experience. And yes. so I have a lot of specific questions for him. I will look forward okay. to to hearing all okay. of that. So Vince Redmond coming up right after this. Uh, set of messages. Stick with us.